kids welcome to my channel i hope you're doing good feeling well and ready for a disney princess story it's for boys too but it's don't stop now from mulan are you excited there's mulan on the back remember what she looks like and then this is her dressed as a boy <laughs> All right, are you ready? If you need to pause it to get comfy or get a drink or a snack, go ahead and hit the pause button now. If not, we'll get into it with Don't Stop Now. <laughs> a story about persistence. Attention, Captain Lil Sing called. Yao Ling, Xin Pao Ping, step forward. <laughs> the four soldiers lined up and saluted as their names were called. Even the captain didn't know that the boy named Ping was Mulan in disguise. Today you will complete or compete in a challenge, the captain said. You must bring back all four flags before the sun sets. You have half an hour to get ready. There they all are. <laughs> There's Mulan right there. That's Ming. Or Ping, I'm sorry, not Ming. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that seems like a tough challenge. Breathless, Mulan ran to her tent. Oh, Mashu, she said, I hope our group can com complete the entire challenge. You won't be the first to complete it if you are the last to leave, Mushu said, reminding Mulan as she needed to hurry. You're right, Mulan agreed and rushed outside. As she did, her foot hit a tent pole. Flop! The entire tent fell down. Mulan desperately tried to fix it. Oh, I don't have time, she said. I had to go. She ran to join her team. Don't worry about me, said Mushu, his voice muffled by canvas. I'm used to fixing everyone else's problems. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Poor Mushu. That's Mushu. Oops, right there. I'm Mulan. There he is under the tent. <laughs> Oh, poor Mulan. She's in a hurry. She's stressed out. The gong sounded. It was time for Mulan's group to move out. Don't worry, Captain, she called. We'll be the first group to bring back all four flags. The captain just smiled. Yo glared at Mulan. Ya yo? Ya yo? I'm just going to call him Yo. <laughs> Why did you say that, Ping? You know that all the other groups have said the, that the fourth flag is impossible to get. Impossible for them, maybe, but not for us, Mulan boasted. Ooh, confidence. Do you think they're going to do it? <laughs> Look at them. Why did you say that? We can't do it. Oh, yes, we can, Mulan says. I'm not so sure, Ling said. He scratched his skinny chin. I am, said Mulan. As long as we work hard and work together, we can do anything. Large, yet gentle, Xing Pao nodded in agreement. Here's the first flag, Ling said excitedly. Look, he pointed at a huge bowl there. Oh no, they gotta get the bowl there off the flag. How are they gonna do that without ripping it? Can you rip the flag? We you can shrub <laughs> Xing Pao, Ling, Mulan, and Yo put their backs to the boulder and tried to push it off the flag. But the boulder wouldn't budge. This is impossible, Ling said dejectively. Mulan thought hard. I have an idea, she said. Mulan ran back along the trail and returned with a long branch she had seen earlier. With a lever, we can lift anything, she said. Ooh, how is a lever? Going to get that big rock. Look how tall it is. It's taller than that. Do you think her lever, Mulan's lever idea, is going to work? I think so. I have faith in her. <laughs> Mulan, Ling, Xing Pao lifted the rock off the flag. It worked. Yo quickly pulled the flag out from beneath the boulder. We did it, Ling said triumphantly. That wasn't so hard, Yo said. Mulan smiled. I see the second flag, Yo suddenly exclaimed. Xing Pao, Ling, and Mulan looked around. Where, they asked. Yo pointed up. So they got it. The lever worked. Good job, Mulan. Now they see the second one all the way up in the tree. How are they going to get that one? 
I have to climb it. <laughs> Mulan quickly climbed the tree, but the branch was too thin to carry her weight, so she tried shaking it instead. Sadly, the flag was tied too tightly. How could the other groups get this one down? Yo asked. No one's as light as Ping. Mulan looked around. A tree branch had helped them before. What could help them now? I know, she exclaimed. She's trying to shake it with her foot, like, oh, come on, fall. And it's tied too tight. But she's got an idea. What do you think it is? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> they tugged a long vine out of the shrubbery. Mulan formed it into a lasso and handed it to Yo. Here, use this, she said. Yo lassoed the branch and pulled it to the ground. Ling grabbed the flag. See, we can do this, Mulan said proudly. The group marched swiftly along the trail, singing as they went. Suddenly, Xing Pao cried, Oh, no, look! Yay, they did it! They used the vine, they pulled it down, and they just pulled it right off. Easy peasy. Right? But now look at that one all the way up there. How are they going to get that one, guys? Mulan better have a good idea. <laughs> Let's lift Ping up to the ledge, Yo suggested. Mulan's fellow soldiers, soldiers hoisted her up to the ledge. Unfortunately, she wasn't tall enough to reach the ledge above her. All of us have to get up here, she said. Help me back down, I have a plan. Ooh, she's got a plan. Ling, Mulan, and Yo groaned as Xing Pao used their backs as stepping stones to reach the ledge. Mulan then looked up at Xing Pao. You're so strong. Now you can pull us all up. <laughs> there she is. Help me down. I got an idea. Look at him stepping on those guys. He's using them as stairs. <laughs> and he's carrying them all. Xing Pao is pretty strong. Once Xing Pao had lifted everyone to the next ledge, the others formed another pyramid. Xing Pao stepped on their backs to reach I'm sorry. Xing Pao stepped on their backs to reach the next ledge. Then he lifted the others up again. Finally, they reached the highest ledge. With a shout, Ling grabbed the flag. We did it again, Mulan cried. Yes, Yo explained. Now all we have to do is get it back down. So one, one ledge at a time, Xing Pao carried them up and then lifted them up so they could get the flag because he's so strong. What a good job, Ching Pao. <laughs> At last they made it down the mountain, huffing and puffing. Just one more flag to go, Mulan said. I don't think we can do it, Ling said tiredly. We can't give up now, Mulan replied. There it is, shouted Mulan. The next flag, flag lay across a rushing river. This one's easy, Yo said. We just have to swim across. No, Mulan said. The current's too strong. And look, she pointed to a roaring waterfall just downstream. Oh no, so they can't swim because the current will just take them right over to the waterfall and then splat on the rocks. No bueno. What are they going to do? I think they have to build a bridge. Let's find out. Shang Po sat down to think. Ouch, she said. He stood up pulling a splinter of bamboo from the seat of his pants. <laughs> he got a splinter in his butt. That gives me an idea, Mulan said. We can build a bridge. Yay! <laughs> a bridge with what? Shin Pao asked. With bamboo, said Mulan. They tied f <laughs> the tired friends, sorry, cut pieces of bamboo and tied them together with vines. After a long time, they finally had something they thought was long enough and strong enough to cross the river. Working together, they tried to ex extend one end to the other side of the river, but it didn't reach. Look at that. Teamwork. But it didn't reach. What are they going to do? Xing Pao, Ling, and Yo slumped over. We're wet, we're tired, and we're hungry, they said. Can we go back to camp now, Mulan? She looked at her friends. They had done just as well as the other groups. Mulan sighed. They were so close to getting the fourth flag. What would a princess do? They're like, please, we're hungry, we're tired, can we go back? Mulan's like, I'm a princess. What's the right thing to do? Would you give up and go back? 
Or would you try again? I think the princess should try again, right? Mulan pointed at the sun. There's still time, she said. We can't give up now. Besides, we might face more difficult challenges when we meet our enemy. We have to know that no matter what happens, we can get the job done. You're right. Let's do it, Chin Pao Ling and Yo exclaimed. Working quickly, they cut more bamboo and double tied it into the double tied it onto the first bridge. Ling tested the bridge to make sure it would hold Mulan. Finally, the bridge was finished. Mulan crawled across and snatched the final flag. Yay! They did it! Good job, Mulan. Good job, crew. They did a good job. Breathless, they ran back to the camp. Each proudly waved a flag. The gong sounded and they all lined up before Captain Lee, S Lee Shang. He looked at each of them and smiled. Well done, men. You're the best friends a girl, girl, guy, <laughs> she almost said guy, girl, could have, Mulan said. We could never have done it without your encouragement and persistence, Ping, said Ling. That's right, Shin Po and Yo agreed. Thanks to you, we didn't give up. Good job, Mulan. She almost admitted she wasn't a boy right there. Oh, no. <laughs> that would have been no bueno. Mulan returned to her tent, exhausted, but very happy. You look like something the cat dragged in, said Mushu. I've had a really tough day, Mulan said. You've had a tough day, Mushu asked. I spent all day trying to fix this tent. <laughs> Mulan looked at the crooked tent. Thanks. It's nice to know I can count on you. You got that straight, even if the tent isn't, Mushu said. <laughs> Just as Mulan fell asleep, she heard Mushu add, You can always count on your number one dragon. The end. At least they put it back up. It might have been crooked, but she had a place to sleep. Good job, Mushu. Did you like that story? More of the story is, don't give up. Do it as long as you can until you have no more ideas. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep using your noodle, your brains, and your friends, and your body, and work as a team. Just like Mulan does. Okay? I hope you like this. Please be good to your teachers, and your parents, and your siblings, and other students, and elderly people. But most importantly... Be good to you. Love yourself and be happy. I'll see you all next time. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give in. You got this, kids. Bye. Love you.